All right, so we are back, and today we're going to take a look at the Fans Toys Motormaster, and here he is in his truck mode. Um, he does have the um, trailer, unlike the X-Trans bot, which is nice. Um, yeah, uh, looks pretty good. Looks the part. Uh, I do have a slight issue with mine. I don't know if it's just me. It's probably just me, to be honest. It's, it's just that these pieces here... Uh, I have a hard time keeping them locked into a place that they're supposed to be. Um, but again, that's probably just me. So I can't fault it too much on that. I haven't watched any uh, many other reviews of the actual transformation or anything like that. So I don't know if I've done something wrong. But it is what it is. And here he is with NP Car. So you can see how they look together. Uh, and I think they look pretty good. Uh, Scale-wise, I think he's just about perfect. Um, but yeah, so there he is in his truck mode. There's not really much else to go into. Uh, we can, I believe, flip this out in case you wanted to do that. Right? Can we do that? Is that a thing? You kind of really have to get into it, though. So, so, and it, but it does have like little tracks, so you can just. He would fit in there if there if he wasn't full of robot bits, um, so barely, but he would fit. Um, so yeah, uh, I guess that's really all there is to say about the vehicle mode. So let's go ahead and get him transformed and go through that nightmare, because <laughs> he's not a fun transformer either. Um, the bottom half isn't. The top half is fine, uh, but the top half is just panel forming. Um, that's really all there is. It's just panel after panel. Um, so we just start untabbing things. Uh, let's kind of get this stuff broken up. And we're just trying to open it up so we can get some access to bits and pieces and stuff. So these pieces here, do they come up? Yeah. These will come up. And like I said, we're just trying to untab things and get it so we can get two things. All right. All right, that should be enough for the moment. So so we got two sections. We got the bottom section and the top section. Top section, again, like I said, it's all just panely. Bottom section is panely, but it also has some clearance stuff. And uh, But yeah, we'll, we'll get into it. Um, so let's go ahead and split the cab. Oh, my God. There we go. You just kind of take the legs out like that. Ah! <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can remember what the fuck I'm doing here. Um, all right, so this will come to here. Um, this panel will fold up and then... No, it doesn't go up? Okay. This will come around to the side, right? Maybe. Is that just how it's designed, or does it slide? I think it wants to slide. But all right. Well, we're not gonna mess with it too much right now. Um, we've got a whole other mess to go with. All right. So this piece here folds in. This will fold in, right? It just folds out. This, no. This will... Ugh, oh, this thing's a freaking disaster. Okay, so that goes like that. So now we need to get this inside here in its configuration, however that works. This goes in like this, and then 
we can, oh, this piece here will come out and that folds in like that. And then we can, and we should be able to get this all in here. Right? This comes off like this. Okay. Come on. There we go. That will come down. Then this will fold up into here. See if I fiddle with something long enough, I'll remember what I'm doing. And then this will fold down. All right. This piece here. Down like that. And this will rotate in like this. And then we should be able to lock this in up here. Freaking disaster. Like that, and then this will come around and lock everything into place. Yeah, this is a fun transformation. <laughs> all right, um, all right, and then this piece here will rotate around for whatever reason. And then we break this piece here up. Right. This, okay, this comes down. This should go in. This wheel will come out like that. This will come down out. I believe this just comes in like this, right? Or does it go around to the back? Oh, it goes around to the back. I'm sorry. So that, that, in, down, like that. Come on. Feels like this needs to come down like one click or something. But it won't. <sighs> so pro oh, maybe this needs to come. There we go. There we go. All right, there's one leg. Not fun. Not fun at all. Not terrible or into the world or anything like that, but it's just, it's really just not a fun transformer uh, when it really boils down to it. So that's what the foot looks like when we're done. So let's try to do that again over here. So this panel will come up here, like that. This will fold around, that locks in, wheels come down. We're done with that piece. Out of the way, we're done. Straighten this piece here out. Untab the wheel section. This piece here will Rotate around like this. This this is just like an in the way kind of piece. It's just kind of obnoxious. This will come in, down, around. Oh no, we want that out first. And then this will come up. Oh, what the hell? What did I do? What do I do differently here? <laughs> okay, 
like that. All right, there we go. And then this whole assembly will slide in like this. Come on. I'm to have this thing. This thing doesn't do any good in trying to keep it in truck mode. But it stays tabbed in when you're trying to go to robot mode. Come on. Come on. Why, why, why are we... There we go. Why, it's like, why are we having a difficulty all of a sudden? Like, what? what's the difference here? All right, and then this panel will come around. Lock everything into place. Why are you not going into place? Yes, I'm getting very frustrated with this thing already. It's it's just it's not fun. <laughs> what what is your problem? Rotate that down, rotate that out. The wheel will come in. This wheel will slide out. So what you gotta do is you gotta like pull it down while you're turning it and then down again and then back up like that. This will fold back like that. And this one, as you can see, is a little on the loose side. Let's see if we can't fix that real quick. Let's see, where is it? Ugh. So it's it's this screw that's in here going this way, so I think the only way we're gonna get it to that is if I take it apart, and I don't wanna do that right now. So I really, really don't. But you're gonna make me do it in anyway, aren't you? because things aren't lining up properly anyway. There we go. All right. All right, so there's the legs. So this is a little on the loosey-goosey side, but I think that's actually how it came, so. All right, so let's talk about the backpack and the top section. I don't, I don't like that leg transformation at all. I really don't. All right, so from here we can split this apart. Um, these panels here, let's see here, they will come off. It's just gonna keep coming out. This is the backpack. <laughs> all right, so we do need to clean up the wheels a little bit. So to do that, what we do is, which one was it? These back ones, I believe. They untab from the back. They come around. And then they like, sit forward or they just, I don't remember. And they're rubber, so they're like picking up every dog hair I have in the room. <laughs> That is, that is gross. Come on. All right, so this will all go into the torso. But these pieces here fold in. Come on, come on. 
there we go. Same thing over here. Like that. And like I said, these fold into the torso, right? Yeah, just like that. And then this whole assembly will rotate around. And then once they're in the torso, we can just kind of like squeeze it till it all fits in there, right? I don't know if you've seen any of this. <laughs> all right, now we gotta just figure out how to flip these panels until they're out of the way. So flip. So flip and then flip. Or flip and flip. Up. In. Over or all oh, not this way. And then. These go in this way. <laughs> In, 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 right? I think that's right. This doesn't go the other way, so I think that's it. And then this piece here will come down, and this will kind of catch on to all these things and hold them into place. And we want to do the same thing over here, so it's kind of... In... Oh, these little ones go in. I didn't do that over here, did I? No. Oh, we can still do it on the outside. Cool. All right, and then in. I will say when I was first doing this, there was a pin that just slid right out of one of these joints. So, I mean, it slid right back in. It was just weird. It was just like, wait, what? <laughs> In, in. Does this go in this way? No. So this way? No. And so this way. Yeah. And then it locks in, and that goes this way, and then that way. Close that all up. Lock those into place, and then there's your backpack. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, pull the arms out. And then they will... Oh, crap. Son of a bitch. I bet you there's somebody out there that's like, ha ha! I know exactly what he's doing, and you failed. Alright, so I failed. Alright, this is what happens when you don't really look at instructions all that much. All right, so you gotta fold this back out. Uh, and what we wanna do, the problem is, is those wheels have to come up, and then we're gonna be able to rotate these panels here in. So the concept is these go in this way, like that. And do the same thing over here. And then this will come down. This will come down. Lock that into place. Flip this down. All right. Now we can put the backpack back in. 
to the torso. Collapse that all in. Lock these in. Lock these in. I do wish there was like another piece to just lock it a little bit better, but yeah, whatever. There'd be one more piece that I'd have to fiddle with for 20 minutes. All right, and then this will go in, I believe. We can extend the arms. They just come down just a tad. Flip this out. Flip out the hands. Flip out the hands. Unfold the fingers. All right, and he's got the nicer thumb too. And there we have the Fansway's Motormaster in his robot mode. Now, um, let's see here. Let's go over posability real quick. Um, let's see here. It does come with an alternate head, so we'll see if that's something we can flip out real quick or if it's something that's more wedged in there. Uh. All right, so he does have, his head is on the swivel, uh, so you get the left and right. Um, little up, little down. Uh, the head does not move independently of the box. The box does a little bit of the head. Well, I guess it does have a tiny bit. Uh, not as good as the uh, x trans pops ones. So hopefully you guys saw that. Um, so left, right, little up, little down. And this just goes just the slightest bit up. Now, I don't know if the head... No, I think what we have to do is I think we have to dismantle this whole thing to try and get in there. And I don't want to break my figure. Um, let's see here, there's that guy. So, yeah, I think you gotta take this panel off to get in there to, to pull the head off, because I think it might be screwed in. And like I said, I don't want to break it, and I don't want to fiddle with it for the next hour. But he's got the stoic face that's on there. And then he's got angry face. So it's something I will swap out eventually. Because um, I kind of like the Stunticons having a little bit more emotional faces. But it's also not something I'm going to fiddle with for, like I said, another 20 minutes on camera. Uh, shoulders ratcheted up and down. Uh, it does have a backwards butterfly, and then this whole hinge assembly can come out and swivel, but it locks in there really tightly, so I'm not going to fuck with it too much. Ratcheted up to there. Bicep swivel. Uh, bends at the elbow. Uh, pretty good range there, and the sculpture down there makes it look pretty uh, natural. Uh, wrist swivel, uh, ball joint on the thumb with a pin, one pin for the thumb, uh, and then two pins for each finger. More articulation than I think you'd really ever need. Let me just try and tighten the screw just a tad. This uh, screw isn't cooperating. So we're not gonna fuck with it. <laughs> I'll do all those little mini things when I'm off screen. So you got a little bit of a waist swivel. It does get caught up on the backpack. So uh, it's not as poseable as it could be if this backpack was not there. But I do think the backpack cleans up all things considered. Um, he does have an ab crunch. 
uh, gets to there. As you can see, it's got this nice sculpted in detail, so it completely obliterates the x Transbots ab crunch. Uh, yes, the x Transbots can go further, but this one at least looks good, functions the way it's supposed to, and doesn't risk breaking the entire figure. We swivel our uh, hip flaps come up out of the way, and you get ratcheted up to there. Ratcheted back to there. Uh, the click is here, but it still does move a little bit further, but I thought that click is not all that great. Uh, friction out to the side, no issues. Well, it's a little on the loose side, but only if you really mess with it. Uh, bicep swivel, a nice bend at the knees, got actually a double hinge there uh, due to transformation. Um, then the foot has the rocker and tilt forward and a little bit of a tilt back. Alright. I don't know if you saw any of that, so <laughs> hopefully you did. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> He does come with a sword, uh, gray handle, and silver paint on the blade. Uh, mine's got a little scuff mark right there. Um, I think it's got a tab, but I don't know if there's really a place to tab it in for robot mode. Um, like the X-Transbots one does. Um, now for holding it, let's take a look. Plugs into his hand just fine, holds it like a champ. He comes with this nice purple gun. Looks good. And tab it in. And again, he's holding this just, just fine. Uh, no issues there whatsoever. Uh, and then for size comparison, here he is with an MP car. Here he is with the Megatron that I'm currently using. So he's a little bit taller than him. About half a head, half a box. And the fans toys. Stunt guns. There you go. We just need one more and we're done. And I like this scale with the Motormaster so much more than the X-Transbots. Like I still like the X-Transbots scale when it comes to the cars, being the size of MP cars, but I really, really like how they scale with the Motormaster because I don't, I mean, it's, it's kind of silly to think of Motormaster being almost the size of Minasaur and they just click on and become like add-on parts, which is kind of how it looked like in the cartoon. But to me, it's just kind of silly to think like, okay, they need to be, uh, he needs to be so much bigger than these guys. And it's like, no, I, I, I want him to be able to lead the troops. I don't want him to be like, oh, well, I've got a bunch of minions like Soundwave. Um, yeah, that's the size difference between the X Transbots and their and his cars and and these guys. It's just like X Transbots is like Soundwave leaving the t leading the tapes. He's more like I'm leading my troops uh, that I can count on in battle. So for score, my biggest gripe is the transformation. Those legs are fucking nightmare. The backpack is super fiddly getting it to where it needs to go. It does hold in really well. Everything tabs in once you get it. Everything tabs in just fine. And I don't have any issues now that it's there. But getting it there is just, it's so not fun. 
Uh, so I'm gonna give him a nine out of ten. I think he's uh, I think he's pretty solid. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good figure. Um, I do recommend him. I think. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about more <laughs> of what I think once we get into the comparison between him and the uh, X Transbot one. So, so yeah, uh, yeah, nine out of ten. I think it's a pretty solid figure. If you're not on the set, obviously you gotta get him. So, so yeah, I know I'm way behind the times when it comes to this decision, but there you go. <laughs>